and we're back. So, here we are in the mining office. I went to my favorite place for the best crypto rigs out there. The best spot to buy your crypto rigs is Home Depot. Price per area versus going out and buying these AAA wave, these other racks, these rigs, which are 150 and up for a bunch of metal joined by little brackets. Come on, guys. That's ridiculous. Don't spend the money on crap that's not going to make you money. I'm sure some other guys are getting these for free to promote them, but not me. I want to save money. So I got the little smaller baking racks, and this is one of the taller ones. There is a taller one yet, but I figure I needed stuff to put the CPUs on. And these are Ryzen 9s, or 900s. I was able to get two before they shot up to the high 500s, which I think now they're down in the mid fives. So still way too much. Need to go down in the fours. We'll see what happens there. Those are Ryzen 5s up here on my favorite motherboard, which I just did a video on where to get that cheap. It's open box, but it's still cheaper than 150 bucks. There they are. There they are. 3070 Ti working like a champ. I know some people hate the LHR 3070 Ti. They hate it like the black sheep of the family, but now it's working. I had to dial in the clock. If I overclocked it too much, it uh, kind of would just go you know, belly up. So you have to baby it a little bit with the overclock on the memory clock, I mean. Uh, you gotta watch that because it'll just whack the windows, but it's been fine on ETHash. It's been working like a champ. And this is just the temporary mother my, my old GTX 760. That is the trooper working on that. Uh, I don't know why I have that on there yet. Oh, I forgot to disable headless mode on that motherboard, so I'll have to do that. This board is running headless with a recycled 2013 Wi-Fi card. This has a Wi-Fi dongle, USB. And this has built-in Wi-Fi, this B550. This board is beefy, look at that thing. And that's it. This is the old rack, this rack. I think this rack was 59 maybe. So again, way cheaper than any other so-called crypto rig out there. You want to go waste your money on metal parts? Go ahead, just get this baking sheet, cooking rack. These things are great. They adjust the legs at the bottom. Uh, you can't stack them, but who cares? All right, so here's the Evo Sun Grow 10. I, I went for it. I said, whatever. I had this now for over a month. Growing pains. <laughs> uh, but um, you live and learn. You watch other people's videos. Everyone's different. Every environment's different. My problem was back pressure. I wasn't getting enough neg negative pressure. The cards, the 3080 TS are hot. There's rig, I um, mean, sorry, ROG Strix, there's Republic of Gaming 3080 TS. They're massive heat puppies. They were just, why are these things 75 plus Celsius? And they take, you know, three power inputs plus a power input for the PCI riser. It's like, God, these things are monsters. But um, once I figured out my issue with the grow tent, here I got the tubing coming out, eight inch, right? I did take people's advice on that. The uh, inline fan, which is great. It was noisy at first. I'm like, all right, this doesn't, this doesn't seem right. And then I have the ducting going out through the top window. This is the best solution I could find without putting a, wall, a hole through the wall. And I went and I got this uh, Starboard at Home Depot. Home Depot is your friend for all things crypto. Starboard is like this fiberglass quarter inch material it's solid people use it for like boats and stuff uh it cuts easy with just a buzz saw you know skill saw and i was able to make this puppy fit right in there I, you know it was flexible enough too i could put it right into the slots of the window that thing's solid you got to kick that thing out to get it out uh, and then i drilled my uh, 18 inch hole with one of those um vertical drills you know this what i forgot they're called skill saws whatever and it worked out perfectly. It came out nice, nice, perfect circle, and the eight-inch duct work fit right through it. And what I did, I had the cover plate on the end before. Let me see if I can find that. If I still have it. No, I just got the mesh. Another prepared video by the Rocco Taco Channel. I had that eight-inch louver on the end of that duct work and this had the mesh and this thing was causing such back pressure plus on the outside of this was the louvers pointed down really steep almost a wall so this fan was trying to egress all that hot air out but hitting a wall i just took it off 
there's such enough airflow, nothing's going to get in there. I mean, I may eventually put some wire over it, a really loose, wide mesh, just in case something does get in there, which I'll, I'll check, but I don't see that happening. But right now, when I did that, when I took off that back, that problem, that, that it was like a dam blocking the air from the egressing, this temperature went down. Yeah, this is not even that hot. Before it was hot. And then I think all my moving around initially, it put a weak spot here and I had a little tear. So I just taped this up. Instead of buying more duct work again, why waste the money? If you can repair stuff, why waste that money when you're trying to make money? You know, just repair it and keep it working. You're not out to win beauty points. Um, unless you want to go spend all your money on the high-end stuff, and that's fine. It's your hobby. But I'm here to make money. Uh, what I did, too, the, you got the metal bars in here, and I just put some plywood here. Oh, it's a bit off. Try to brace it. And you got the brackets here with the tape. This tape is gold. Holds it on there because, you know, the pressure will blow. Even with these brackets, it'll blow these off. So you need to tape to help hold the ductwork on. Got a little piece of plywood just to angle it. I'm trying to make the flow come out of this puppy nice straight as possible out. You don't want, you don't want bends. You don't want long runs because the air will block up. It's just, air is like water, man. You got to keep it flowing. If you start clogging it up, it's not going to go anywhere. All right, here it is, Evo Sun. I got this bottom open here. Air comes in. You can see it gets dirty, so you vacuum that off now and then. And I have not put filters over it because I don't want to restrict airflow. And I got this little duct work. Why do I have that? Because these will close sometimes. With the uh, little dryer vent thing, I can direct the air. So I have this back in the corner. I have the back one here clogged off, the bottom vent, because I want air to come in through this way from the left, through the bottom, and up. And I'll show you. Let's take this thing off. My only hack, well, sometimes this gets caught on the zipper. This inline seam on the zipper here, it gets caught in the zipper and you got to wash it. So don't rip this thing open too fast. You might get it caught up in the zipper and you'll be there all day trying to get that out and loosen the zipper back up. So, ooh, there's the heat coming out. What are we running at? We're running at 97. Let me get some light. Need some light. Just another prepared video for you. Got my little 97. There you go, 97, not bad. It was at 110 before I took that uh, blockage off. 110 with, uh, what, how many cards I got here? Six plus six, 12. I only got 14 cards in here. Not much uh, compared to most guys who, who are, you know, been doing it a lot longer. So let's go through. So here's the, the two Home Depot racks, the best, again, the best crypto rig supplier in the universe. 29 bucks for those cooking sheets. I bought these uh, GPU hangers. Again, I didn't need to buy them. I shouldn't have bought them because, again, they look cute. I mean, it's great. They serve a purpose. But, again, do I need them? Sure, you want them, but do you really need it? And why, why I say that is because if it's not making you money, why are you wasting 49 bucks on a bunch of plastic hangers when you can go, you can go a gangster style or you can go gorilla style here, get a freaking three-inch drywall or deck screw, run it through, and then just, just have it, uh, just have it hanging the GPU right there, and it works. It's not pretty, who cares? It works, and it's making me money, and I'm not spending money on 3D printed stuff. Sure, it's a great product, but I'm not going to spend my money anymore on that stuff when I could just do that. And worst case is what you do is you just use zip ties. <laughs> it just get the thing working, man. Get it up and running, and that's how I roll, right? Uh, what other regrets or pros and cons? Uh, let's see. Again, I should have. I had these racks on the outside, and this is great. They're cheap, and they work. But I should have put this rack in here. It might be the same difference and the heat going up. The problem, yeah. In the end, let's see. One, two. It gives you a little more space. But I don't want to do CPU mining in a grow tent because the CPUs get too hot and I found that it was an issue and I pulled out my CPUs because they don't, they don't really get much heat. But in the grow tent, those CPUs were burning. That's Ryzen 9. I took that out. All right. So I could have put this rack in there, but I just got the rack. So hindsight, should I got the bigger rack? Maybe these might solve the same. One, two, three. 
It's a tough one. I bet I could have cut it. I think that would obviously give me more real estate to work with. I would have just had to double up. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, I would have had more real estate. So maybe lesson learned: get the taller cooking rack or the rack wire rack initially. Here's my little wood frame. That's a plus. Slapped that together for 14 bucks. There is a video on that. Painless. Anybody can do it. Um, no problem at all. And I'm waiting for GPUs. I got 6600s coming. People don't like the 6600s. There's a hell, a hellhound. I like them because they they don't use much power, and they churn out. They eat up. Well, they produce the same amount of hash as the 1660 supers and stuff like that. That have maybe 30 more 30 more watts of usage. These are 60. If I get my flashlight to work. These are about 50, 60 watts, and these are 80 watts, I think. So, again, I like the 6600. Got the little stupid fans here. They help me just indicate things are working. And I have flashlight problems. Technical difficulties. Let's go to the backup. USB. There we go. Oh, what else can we talk about? That's my old gaming PC from 2013. ASRock motherboard. Works like a champ. I pulled the uh, one motherboard. I had a... Uh, super in there 1660 I pulled it out it was actually on the PCI slot on the board I pulled that out and put it on a riser and hung it with one of my famous decking decking screws and now that's all clear took off the back plate off the the uh, computer tower so air now goes right through it so that was a lesson learned that before was a wall that was blocking airflow so the back cover is gone so the back of the motherboard is exposed and airflow goes up through the case now and that was a good thing. But again, this ASRock from 2013 is rock solid thing. I just plugged in two one to four splitters on the PCI slots, recognize all six GPUs without me even messing with the BIOS. Whereas the newer BIOSes, you have to go in, enable, disable, C, uh, CSM support, all that crap. Um, but you just gotta know, you gotta learn. Whereas this is just plug and play for me. It was, it was beautiful. All right, that's what we got on that. Wood rack is beautiful. Because what you can do with this thing, the only tether is the power cable. Pull that power cable out, this thing is portable. Oh, bad. And then I got a cat. You can stick a, a USB dongle in there, but I had a cat cable, network cable. I just ran that in there. So a cat and power, you could take this out, move it anywhere else. You want to put heat upstairs. This a little heater. You can just put it up in the corner. Stick a USB dongle on there, wireless, and you're good to go. Uh, right now, this is all into a 30 amp 240 supply. Great electrician showed up. I actually hired a, a call to service, a professional service to come out. A big electric company. They came out. First, he forgot to come out. Then he came out. I said, do you do uh, um, residential? Sure, sure, sure. Looked around. Actually had some good input. All right, I'll get you up a work order invoice or an estimate. And I even called a couple days later. Hey, did you got the estimate? Uh, nothing. And then never heard back from these fools. But I'm so sick of service industry sometimes. If you're not going to do and offer the work, don't show up and waste my time and your time. Don't be a doof. Anyway, never got that. Called a friend, co-worker friend, whose husband did it. Does electrical on the side, certified, whatever. License came out, looked at it, and started working the same day. And only charged me 300 I gave him 400 because he had to crawl under the house to run the 30, uh, the 10 gauge 30 to 40 cable, hooked it right up, I got juice. The hardest part after that, I had to wait a couple weeks to get a PDU strip, a trip light. Those things are hard to get. I got one from a Montana golf shop, golf cart shop. I think they had them for the power of their golf carts on the golf course. Shipped it from Montana. And you know, it's it was beautiful. It's got a lot of ports. I can probably show you. It's running back here. There's the strip, tip trip light with the special uh, the plugs that go in there. I love it. Professional, safe, supplies the juice I need without blowing circuits. All right, ductwork coming in. That just helps direct the air up because the side vent will bring in air and go through the computer case and then all the way up to the egress. So I have the fan now running on low because I got rid of that back pressure issue, that blockage issue. So air flows here through great. It's, it's pretty amazing when you just troubleshoot the problem. And uh, I have these clogged up, but the temperature stays in the, 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 the mid-90s. The boards stay from 75 up on these 380 Ti's right here. They, they're down in the 60s. 
And uh, one thing I do, I do keep this fan on because these, these puppies right here, these raw Strix ones, they get hot. I take this fan off, it heats up. But I have no problem with that. It just, the airflow is good, the temperatures are low. I just want to keep low temperatures. Um, that's where I'm at. So I do have this fan blowing and maybe that'll change. But I know I take that off there and uh, these cards heat up. But not to the point where they were in the 80 Celsius. Holy crap. Then you hear stuff whining and you get, oh my God, what's, what's going what's gonna to not, what's going to trip out and, and just crash and uh, makes you kind of worried. So that's the only kind of hack is this little Amazon Basics fan, which is a great fan because it actually focuses the air where you want it. It's not just one of these disruptive fans that just blows air everywhere. This is actually focused. It's kind of amazing how it just funnels the air right where you point it. Uh, let's see air down here air at the bottom is obviously cool and works its way up which is pretty neat I mean obviously physics whatever thermodynamics whatever it is that science stuff so it works good dirt gets down here so you have to vacuum that now and then get your vacuum out clean off the bottom uh, that's about it so again what's the lesson here make sure you got good airflow this is a office residential office um, it's cold outside so I can open the side door and get some 65 degree temperatures in here and that helps obviously uh, I got the nice easy egress cons are should have had a bigger rack in here known about the back pressure place the hotter fans maybe to the left to get the airflow initially the colder air that might have been another go-to but Last week, I pulled this case out to take the motherboard out and reconfigure stuff. That was a couple hour effort. So once you get things working, try to not mess with it. Kind of if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And also try to plan ahead. Like think about what you want to do. I want six cards hanging off my cheap Home Depot racks first. And these cards I know are hot. So where should I put the hot cards? Let's put them to the left. Maybe where the air, cold air is coming in because that hot air is going to work its way up and get out of the old 8-inch tube. And uh, think about that stuff because air might come in here and get backed up. And then these cards will just burn hotter. I run the fans 100 because fans are cheap and easy to switch out. But they've been running good. I figure, come on, you're spending a couple thousand bucks on these cards. They better work. Um, that's the way. That's the way I look at it. Burn them. Use them. All right, that's all I got. This is the grow tent. This is, um, I got, I'll put all the stuff below. Everyone's talked about the grow tents, blah, blah, blah. You know, same old, but it's always good to get everyone's story together. What has worked for them? What hasn't worked for them? I've seen some guys cram them in their basement corner, and I'm going, oh, my God, how are you getting, how are you getting the airflow through that? I mean, it just seems restrictive, and you got long runs and stuff like that. And other guys are feeding it with fans, and, and uh, like, I'm feeding it, but I was actually feeding it from the sides as well thinking if i inject air through a fan that would help no you're creating positive pressure and then with the blockage i had on the uh, duct it just was becoming an oven in there there was no way for that heat to get out it was just that stupid louver cover uh was just causing me more headache than i than i realized at the time because it was sticking out the window i don't want to mess with it but when i went to make the cutout and make it look a lot better boom solved my problem amazing Amazing how that happened. So you got to get the airflow. Don't inject air. This again, those cards are hot and this is working perfect. I got 67 degree from 75 plus. I'm happy with that. And uh, they seem to be happier, the cards and they're working and they're not, not causing me any issues and the fans and the motors aren't whining. So that is a good lesson learned. Uh, the heat stays in, even though I got the tent open just on the corner part that fan everything just comes up that way and through the side and it keeps everything perfect and the egress is perfect as well the exhaust is perfect so i like it right now i'm gonna probably eventually get that out to see how things work but right now i'm not again i'm not gonna mess with something that's working for me because <laughs> again i'll spend hours trying to say oh crap what did i do wrong now i tr i had it working and then now it's not all right another issue is here's the uh variable speed control on the fan the cable's not long enough, and I don't like the fact I'm using a extension cord right here. I just threw it down there to power the fan. I don't like that, but th their fan wasn't that long, their cord. 
Um, that's one thing I got to resolve. But again, that's a heavy duty 10 gauge. No, I think it's a 12 grade. 12 gauge, 14 gauge. Ah, I can't remember. Is it 14? It was one of the heavier Home Depot con uh, contractor extension cords with the little fuse light on it to help you out. Again, Home Depot is the friend of the crypto miner. I've got most of my stuff there, the wood rack stuff, the wire racks, let's see, uh, the, uh, what is that again, well, starboard cut out for the window, the ductwork, I think I got it, Amazon, Amazon's your friend too, and I got this, the cookie racks, the uh, wire racks as well. What else do we got going on? So there, we're, we're coming together. We got a little operation growing. Again, I went from one card, guys. I mean, if you say should you get into this, if you have the money and you don't mind losing the money or you can possibly make money too, it's, it's a little investment. But if you want to do it as a hobby, learn how to slap motherboards together, it can dovetail into something else. You can start building computers for people. And uh, you just get so good at the bio settings. You can set up, you could actually, if you can get GPUs, which you can, there are ways, I'm not gonna go into that right now. There are ways to get GPUs at MSRP. Uh, you just gotta know how to do it. But this little hobby can turn into a side hustle where you're slapping together computers for people, gaming computers. And if you wanna sell your stuff, you can start selling it. Even though eBay's, you know, even though eBay's asshole a little bit because you kinda get scammy buyers and, and they charge you such huge fees. That's one way to sell stuff, but I don't recommend eBay. I actually say steer clear from eBay as, as fast as much as you can, uh, just from my experience. And PayPal, stay away from PayPal as well, because they do not protect people that sell stuff. And it's yeah, same with eBay. You can get scammed so easy as a seller, and eBay doesn't give a crap. Uh, let's see, what are we talking about? Other lessons learned: always buy your stuff for complete system builds. Don't buy onesie twosie. If, you, if that's all you can do, that's all you can do, but make sure you have your power supply ready, your memory ready, of course your CPU, and uh, Ethernet hookup, that's all you need. CPU, memory, a video card, power, boom. Then you're not waiting for little stuff. Uh, you, you know, sometimes I get these little switches here, but you can use a screwdriver too to jump the two power, power uh, uh, what do you call it? power connectors and get the thing booted up. That's fine too. Uh, also what I wish I would have done from day one was take advantage of those M2 slots. See them right? Let's see, where's the phone? Right there, those M2 slots and use SATA's, SDD drives so I didn't have to hang SATA drives off the SATA port and just, they're, they're, they're just cumbersome. They're, they're hard to find a place to hang and uh, what I did over here was, that's a USB one, I don't care, it works, right? That's cheap and dirty, that's all I had. And it's booted, it's running, and it's making money, so who cares, right? It was, I'm gonna keep that until I need to replace it. But on these other guys, I just took the uh, SATA Kingston drive here and just, on the end there, I just uh, adhesive it on double-sided adhesive tape right, right here. There it is, just to keep it out of the way. But in hindsight, I just want to get those M2 slots, see them right there? Just I have one coming just to try it out and uh, use that as my uh, hard drive, my SDD. Just again, it's on the board, it's out of the way, and these things become so uh, easily self-encapsulated without crap hanging off them. So right now, all that's hanging off this thing is, uh, well, where's the USB thing? Um, dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. Let's see, I'm looking for it. Yeah, interesting. Oh, I'm an idiot. I was looking for the USB wireless, and I remember I put the 2013 one on. Boy, it's right in front of my face. But yeah, the only thing hanging off this thing right here is the power cable. And I need the motherboard, but that's actually mining too. It's a GPU-CPU combo. Yeah. And those little wireless dongles are working great right there. Not too much light. Pretty cool. Oh, what else we got? So my favorite motherboards are these because I know them. It's what you know. If you know stuff that works and you know how to configure it in the BIOS 
stick with it if you can. Like I said, I just found a new egg. Open box one, sort of. They say used, but it's just open box. People returned them. Probably, whatever. Didn't want it or didn't know how to hook it up. I don't know. This one is neat. It's kind of overkill. Uh, probably cost me a lot of money. I can't remember what that cost. Probably mid 100s or something like that. I can't remember exactly. I can't remember. Uh, let's see. These things are good. I like these uh, little power supplies. They kind of will, you can push on them and tell you how much you're feeding. It's kind of like your little watt meter. You can tell how many, how much is going out. And that's a good indicator to say, am I overloading this circuit? Especially if you're in a 110 outlet, house outlet, you can say, am I getting too close to the 80% roll? You know, was it 15 times 10? You know, it gives you, you know, 110, I mean, times 15, you know, 1500. And then you want to stay under 1200 watts usage so you don't want to get near that max especially in a house don't mess with that crap uh there we go that's it grow tent i'll put the links down below i like this one this is under probably close to five feet tall and it fits nicely in the corner you could probably get double obviously double what i got in there so there's 12 14 in there so just double that you could probably get that in there it'll burn a little hotter but with the uh airflow with that big eight inch and inline fan you will be good to go that's it i mean i recommend it should you get a grow tent in your office or house for this gpu mining stuff if you're not out in a shed or somewhere or a trailer yes i will say these grow tents are gold and they solved my problem was first first problem i had was getting power once i had power then all right i started generating heat and it was summertime. I said, oh, my God, this is not going to be viable. I cannot do this. I'm going to cook myself. So I got the grow tent as an experiment. They're 89 bucks and the fan. So under 200 bucks, you're going to get this thing set up, right? Again, this is, this is part of the ecosystem you got to do. you got to spend the money on it. Otherwise, it's going to be unbearable. So I did that, got the grow tent, hooked it up, and it worked. It sucked the heat out. Of course, I had the blockage issue. Now, weekend, since I got rid of that problem, this is gold. This thing is keeps the noise you know you hear the inline fan it's not too bad well with the with the airflow much better i can keep the fan on low i'm keeping a fan on low and the temperatures are great sometimes you know if it does heat up maybe i always have the option to crank that fan up but i have not had the need to and uh, that's a plus as well so yes get the road tent i would do it if you're having heat issues and you're cooking yourself of course it's winter time most places now you might not notice it, but come summertime, you're going to wish you had a grow tent to just get that heat out of the house. Anyway, that's all I got. It's too long of a video. Wow, way too long. But again, it, sometimes people like long information like that just to help them make decisions. And is there better ways to do this? Heck yeah. Am I doing it the right way? Probably not. Is it working for me? So far it is. <laughs> do I answer my own questions? Yes. Uh, that's all I got. Enjoy. I'm out. I got to go find that dog. Where's the dog? He doesn't do much anymore. He just sits around and watches me. I'm going to get him his own uh, Ryzen 9 when they drop below 500 one day, if they ever do. All right, let me know what you think. Go get your grow tent. Have fun mining, and maybe we'll all be able to keep getting passive income while we sleep. Yeah, hope so. All right, I'm out.